Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we've got a bourbon haul and we've got a cigar haul. Now, when people find out that I'm in a bourbon, one of the first things that they ask is, do you smoke cigars? And I always say the same thing. I just have not found one that just hits me in the right way yet. So shout out to Fredis and Mike, man. They were out on the job site that I visited and both of them made recommendations. They both said the Bellis Artist uh, Maduro. And I, I said, look, I've dibbled and dabbled in cigars over the years. I kind of like my cigars the same way I like my bourbon, robust, thick, rich. And that is what they recommended. And since they recommended that cigar, man, it has been going down the rabbit hole ever since. So shout out to them guys. And anyway, I want to get into the bourbons that I got. I've got some excellent videos coming up in the future. I've been going down this rabbit hole, like I said, with cigars, uh, started with that Bayes artist. Well, you guys let me know how it's pronounced because when I was in Spanish class in high school, two L's were pronounced with a Y. So if it's Bell, just put B-E-L-L. -L, and if it's Bay, put B. EY and I'll know how to pronounce it going forward. But uh, first bottle on the list is a single barrel McKenzie. And I know I had somebody tell me to stay away from McKenzie, but this is 70% white corn, 20% uh, rye, and 10% malted barley. It comes in at 109.6 proof. I'm, I'm, I am a sucker for store picks, but sometimes single barrels too. And when I saw this thing, especially being seven years old, I had to pick it up. I had to pick it up and get it on the channel. So this is one of the first bottles in the uh, bottle haul side of it. Uh, now I picked this one up a little while ago. This one right here, I picked it up at the Virginia ABC. This is an American single malt. Now I have been filling my single malts lately, man. So, you know, I picked this thing up, cracked it open. I've got my thoughts on it. Once I get around to doing a review, I will get it on the channel. This is the Yellowstone American single malt. It comes in at 108 proof. So that's also going on the channel. Hey, I'm sorry that I have to interrupt the program, but I've got another bottle now. This is a super special bottle. I only had four bottles on this list, but it turned into six. Wow, you do not come across these every day. This is an Old Force, the single barrel, barrel proof store pick. <laughs> this is from 925 Liquors down on Old Washington Road, man. Shout out to my man, Gray. Gray called me at like eight o'clock in the morning. It was like, dude, you gotta get down here. Then I get down there, I talk to Chris. Chris, those guys are great, man. He's got more picks coming out. He says he's gonna try and let me know when they come out, whenever he finds out. He says it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. He said, but he wants to start doing tastings. He wants to expand the store. So hopefully we can get in there. We can shoot some footage, maybe do some tastings with the fellas, shoot some footage, bring you guys some of that footage. And another bottle that I keep leaving out of every goddamn going bottle haul video. This was actually from the Total Wine Shoot. This is the Balcones Lineage. This is the Texas Single Malt American Whiskey. And I told you, lately I've been filling my single malt. And spoiler alert, one of the cigars is a Perdomo, Connecticut. I smoked that thing last night and I think it will pair well with this one. Now pairing cigars is a little tricky, but anyway, back to the regular program. Next bottle up, this is High West. No, it's not Midnight Winter's Dram, but this is the High West Rendezvous Rye. Uh, it says it's a blend of straight rye whiskeys. So um, this one, I got this one at a Virginia ABC too, man. You see, I got it down past the shoulder. I've been trying to do my due diligence. I do want to give it an episode. Um, I just don't know when because that was a little bit of a pricey bottle. I mean, all of them kind of had a little bit of a you know, nice price to them, but this was a little bit of a pricey bottle and I'm kind of struggling with it right now, to be honest with you guys. Last bottle on the list, it's an Old Faithful. Matter of fact, let me make some room because I need to pour myself a little bit. This is Knob Creek 12. I was getting a little low in my other bottle. This is the new Wavy bottle. I am a big fan of the rounded bottle um, and I did not crack it. I just untwisted the cap. Because uh, I didn't want to, you know how Knob Creek can be. It can be a little finicky with the wax. So didn't want to have any issues on camera. So these are the four bourbons that I have picked up recently. I just needed something new for the stash. These are three things that I do not have that I think will make great content on the channel. So with that being said, look, do me a favor. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'd appreciate all those things. It just helps me out. Cheers. Got to get into this Knob Creek real quick. Mm. Now, let's get into the cigars because 
I've got some ideas, man, some things I want to pair them with. Uh, this right here is a Padromo. So this is a, this is a, oh, I'm sorry, not a Padromo. This is a Padrone. So this is a 1964 anniversary uh, Padrone. This one is in Diplomatic. Uh, it comes in at 7x50. So to all of the new cigar smokers out there, that's just the uh, millimeters going across and the length and inches going down. So it comes in 7 inches long. 50 going across uh, I really have enjoyed this one the first one I had was in candlestick that thing was amazing this is an Oliva V this thing was really rich I really enjoyed it this is the 135th anniversary uh, can't wait to get this thing on the channel I paired this with something that I thought was went really well with this cigar and uh, yeah I just can't wait to get into that cigar I mean it's I'm just telling you guys the pairings that I've been putting together I've really had fun doing they're not always great sometimes I have to run through quite a few and sometimes I get it right on the first try and I'll go over that in some of the videos that I do so let me got let you guys let me know if this is something that you're interested in seeing because I do have a couple of episodes that I want to shoot. So if this is something that you're interested in, I will I will definitely get more of those things uh, put together for you. Now this right here, this is a nub. Uh, this one I picked up because I've never had nub, heard good things about them and read good things about them. Uh, it's got a Cameroon wrapper that was one of the main reasons why I picked it up. Uh, the Arturo Fuente uh, Hemingway, it was in Robusto that I picked up, uh, had a Cameroon wrapper. And it did offer some sweetness to the wrapper itself, not necessarily to the smoke. Now look, if you guys are a newbie like me, put it in the comments. If you like mild cigars, if you like more robust cigars, let me know. Most of the cigars that I'll be re re be reviewing will be medium to uh, full or, you know, just slightly more on that robust side of things. Um, let's get into the next one. So this is one that I have not had before. This is a Pedromo Habano. This one is the Connecticut. So this is the Connecticut Shade, which is a little lighter. It's supposed to be a really, really mild to medium cigar. It's supposed to be really flavorful and really good. This is... Uh, the same cigar but in more of a medium profile this one is a Pedromo Habano but it is sun grown uh, so we'll get into that one this one right here is one of my favorites man this one right here it's Drew Estates uh, Maduro and it is it is excellent this is so good that I did not want to put it out the other day and if you are like me and you dibbled and dabbled in the world of cigars and not all cigars pair with bourbon and i'll be honest with you most of the bourbons that i drink if i put a cigar with it they tend to taste the same even though they taste totally different on their own when i pair with a cigar the char in the cigar just pretty much makes them all taste the same you've got to find some special pairings and i believe i've got some special pairings for you guys so stay tuned uh this is like i said the uh, drew estates maduro um what else do we have here we've got an arturo fuente this is the double chateau fuente i can't wait to get this thing uh get it smoked this one it's got it comes with a cedar wrapper uh, hopefully it stays moist for me this humidor i've never had one before it seems to be doing well i mean it's got the little uh, humidifying stick in it so i hope that one you know does well for me this i haven't had yet this one is the drew estates but this is the 10th anniversary now this one is supposed to be a little more robust where this one is more medium plus this one is supposed to be medium plus more towards the full side of things with a little more spice and this is the 10th anniversary drew estates like i said uh we've got um We've got a Perez Carrillo. This is the Encore Majestic. This actually was number one cigar in 2018, rated a 96. This one is supposed to be a very, very good mild cigar. Can't wait to get that thing lit. This is the uh, Carrillo, Perez Carrillo Pledge. Now this thing won number one cigar in 2020 from cigar aficionado with a 98 rating and this is the robusto 5x50 so i can't wait to get that thing lit too oh we've got an oliva g yeah yeah this one it's a it's a step down from the oliva v but it is just as good it's a little more mild um it doesn't have as many peppery notes in it uh but this is a very 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 good mild cigar um 
This is the Pedromo Maduro 10th anniversary. Haven't had this one yet. Uh, can't wait to get that thing lit. And this one, last but not least, this is the uh, Perez Carrillo. Look, I've, I've got to get the names down, okay? But this is the Perez Carrillo uh, La Historia, okay? So E3. So this one actually was number two cigar of the year in 2014 with a 95 rating. So look, I can't wait to take you guys down this cigar journey with me. We will get some great pairings together. So with that being said, let the whiskey flow. Never run out unless you're headed to a drop. Till next time.